everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going over part two of build a suggestion box app and this will be adding custom fields. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. Description field, category field, we're trying out the app and then a few other fields. So let's go ahead and jump into our trailhead org. So here you can see that we are in our suggestion box app that we built in part one. So we have our suggestions, our reports, our dashboards. But now we want to go to setup and go to, you can either click setup and go to the object manager or you can edit the specific object that you're in. So we are in our suggestion object, which is the one that we'll be using. So it's a little quick little shortcut. All right, so now verify that we're in suggestion. We're going to fields and relationships and click new. This is going to be a long text area. All right, and for this field, it's going to be suggestion description for the field level label we're going to keep the length visible lines is going to be 10 and for to keep the description blank but I'm going to copy and paste the help text because it's a little bit long all right let's click next we're going to keep all the defaults so we're going to go until we save and we're going to say, click Save and New. And next we're going to add a pick list field. So let's add pick list here. Click Next. And we're going to go to Suggestion Category. All right, and we're going to enter each value. Make sure that you spell this correctly or else it won't pop up or you won't be able to pass this. And that might be a reason why you get an error. So if you get an error on this one, make sure you spell everything correctly. And we're going to deselect restrict pick list values. All right, and then we're going to go until we save. All right, so now we're going to go out and try out the app. So let's go back to our other tab where you can click the three by three. I'm going to refresh this page. And we're going to create a record and we should see our new fields. So we do have a suggestion name. Um, let's say more snacks. I'm going to say we'd like more snacks in the office. I'll add it under kitchen snacks. Click save. We are able to use our object. All right, so from here, I'm going to exit out of this. I'm going to go back to our setup, which is in the other tab. Click Home, and we're going to look at our schema builder and see kind of the back end. It'll show us a little visual about how this is all connected. All right, and here you can see we've got all a bunch of different objects. We're going to clear all and only go for the user and suggestion. All 
and we can look at them side by side and see how they are all connected. So it looks like they're connected be through the different owners and lookup of the users that have created it. So we're going to go back to our suggestion box object and add two more fields. Going to click new. And it looks like we're going to do a pick list. Let's see, and this is going to be status, enter values, which is going to be new under consideration. in progress and implemented. And we're going to use the first value as the default value. And then we're going to go until we save. Actually, we are going to click it read only for all users. Except for sysadmin. And then we will save. And we're going to save and new because we're going to add another date field. So from here, we're going to go to date, scroll down, click next, field label. It's going to be implemented date. And then we'll do the field level security. And then we'll do the same that we did for the last one where only the system admin was not in read only and click save and now let's go ahead and refresh this page and we should be able to see our two new fields in our record Maybe if we add, click new. All right, for the suggestion, let's have it be uh, less hours. And have this be in employee services. Click save, you can see that it's there. Those two new fields are there but they're not on this page. If we wanted to do that, we would go just go to the page layout and add it from there. So let's go ahead and check this. All right, and it looks like we have an error. So it looks like on our status field. So let's go ahead and look and see what we've got for our status field. And it looks like it's an error for a restricted pick list. So let's go ahead and edit that field and not restrict the pick list. So I went to status, edit, and 
and then not restrict it. And then click save. All right, now I'm going to come over back to our trailhead and refresh the page. Scroll down to our challenge and then verify. All right, there we go. Easy 100 points. Uh, thanks for joining me for part two of this Build a Suggestion Box app. Be sure to like and subscribe to this video. It really helps out my channel and helps me create more helpful videos like this. And I'll catch you guys in part three.